So let's see how you can display the savings in dollars right here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna remove some space right here. And we're gonna create a new comment. Display savings as dollars. So we're gonna create a function. And we're gonna call this one Carolina Spa underscore save price dollars. We need to pass the price and the product. The price, the current price, and the sale price, and the product that this belongs to. So we're gonna hook this into add filter, and the hook is called WooCommerce underscore get underscore price HTML. Then we pass this function to communicate this. And we're gonna run at priority of 10 and we're passing two arguments, these two arguments that we have here. So let's add, for example, you can use again echo pre and echo pre. And you can bar dump the price, for example. Save this and reload. So now you can see we have the, the price right here. And if you pass product, you will have additional information with everything about the product. So you can see we have a bunch of information right here that you can use for different customizations that you wanna make. So first we're gonna remove everything from here. And we can use, for example, something like an if. We're gonna run this function only if we have a, a special price. And we're gonna pass product. And then we're gonna, we're gonna use a function called go get sell price. So in case that we are running a special offer, this method will return the sale price. And we're gonna return price. So we can add something like echo. Yes, there is a discount just to test that this is working and reload this. And now you can see that we have, yes, there is a discount. And we can remove this. And here we're gonna add this, the PHP code. So we're gonna create a new variable called save equals to product. And we're gonna use another method, get regular price. So the function get sell price will display this $10 and the regular price will display this $50. So in order to say to print the save, we need to do some math here. So for example, we, we have 50 minus this product sell price. The save variable will have a value of $5. And we can use a function called WC underscore price. So this function will convert any number into a WooCommerce price. So with something like this, we can create another line of code and then we can return the price. And we're gonna add a dot, printf, so we can use a formatted string and then we can add something like, a, something like this. Inside this parenthesis, I'm going to add save. And inside quote save. And right here I'm going to add percentage ads. So here is where the save variable is going to be added. That's why I'm using the sprint f. This is a PHP function that you can use, for example, a string inside the, the function and a variable outside. So right here, outside of this parentheses. I'm going to add a comma and save. So the value of save is going to be injected in right here. That's one of the advantages of using sprintf. And right here, we can add a comma and WooCommerce. We're adding the text domain right here. So you can save this and reload the front end. And now you can see that we have save and we have USD $5. You can see here we have save and you can add HTML, for example. So let's add a BR tag, BR, to break this. 
and have a new line. So let's reload. And you can see that we have the price here on the top. And then we have save USD $5. $5. And we're going to add, for example, an span with the class save amount. So with this class, we can style this with CSS. And right after this percentage s, we're going to close the span. So you can save this and open again the browser. And if I right click here and inspect the code with the, the element, you can right here and here we have a span with the save amount class that we can style with CSS. So now we have the, the original price, the sale price, and we're displaying the save in dollars. In upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to add percentage. But this is one of the tricks that you can apply in your websites. So in the next video, we're going to write some CSS to style this span with the class save amount.